if you, I mean, if you were next door to Iggy, because yeah. he, um, he has his own dressing room, and I, I, I'm sure you know his name's Jim in, in mm. real life, as it were. But as we get nearer to the actual show, that the, the show time, he stops becoming Jim, and starts becoming Iggy. Right, and you can hear, it, it sounds like there's like a there's an animal next door. Uh -huh. and literally, start, you stop hearing these sounds, and you can hear him stamping around, and and the, the, you can feel like the energy and the vibe coming through the walls. And as it increases before that, before we go on, and by the time we get on stage, just before we get on, there's this snarling, yeah, crazy. I mean, it's just, it's just fantastic. I mean, you, you, you've seen it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I've seen him. Well, I mean, the first time I saw Iggy, and this this, this was one of the best moments of my life at the age of, how old was I, about 16 or 17? It was on the Real Wild One or Real Wild Child Tour. It was when oh. Seamus Bean was playing guitar. So yeah. I didn't know Seamus yeah, yeah. then. So I think the bands, it's at the, the Birmingham Odeon. I'm down the front. I've, I've been to a few gigs now. I know, I know how it goes. I'm down the front. <laughs> My ticket was at the back, but I'm down the front. Yeah, it's not that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the band starts playing. I think it was Lust for Life. And then Iggy comes running out, rips his shirt off, gobs into the audience. Right, he, doesn't, he doesn't gob very far. I'm at the front, it lands straight on my forehead. <laughs> You've been anointed. 